from Figuratorium. I am Mark, I am here in the studio, and I was planning to have a special guest today. Mr. Rich Bachelor is gonna come by with a statue of a figurine, I should say, of a nun, and we were going to um, film this. Uh, however, I decided that um, since he had some other business, we'll do this on Friday, and instead I will give you a walkthrough of the entire tour uh, of the studio and let you guys see kind of what is uh, the whole place is all about here, Island Station Media Lab. So I'm switching around. So we're going to start off with uh, the place that I normally film in, and that is the B stage here. And I'm going around, and I'm showing you the psych that you're normally used to seeing, and the lights, and the tripod I use. And you can see here is the command center where I sit at and there is the wireless units down there that I use for microphones there is some drape and lights over here this is the corner that's the corner over there so now we're gonna leave this room and I'm gonna take you guys on a special journey so we're walking through a little kind of um, what would you call this this is like a uh, um, this is like where we keep a bunch of wood on that side and a bunch of tools down there and I know this is extremely exciting for people who like to see wooden tools we're gonna walk through this door we're now in this room here this room is going to be the studio's little kitchenette area and um, we're also going to keep some extra props in here here's our refrigerator let's just see what's in the freezer shall we oh gosh look at that there's, there's ice cream Folgers coffee. What's in here? Well, inside the Folgers coffee is actually bags of legendary Costa Rican Canopy blend. Best by 110218. So if you want the world's finest coffee from two years ago, come see me. I also have this classic roast in the freezer that has never been opened. Look at that. That could be fresh. If it's there any longer, it's going to be even fresher. Got some cupboards up here. There's some snacks. Look at that. We got waffles, it's peanut butter, crunch. Uh, these are pretty good. Power ups. Pretty good. And here is dishes, microwave, coffee machine. Um, over here is where we're putting a bunch of junk. There's a bunch of couches and etc. up there. Here is a rack of lab coats. There's my lab coat and uh, the one with the green paint on it is this one. It's Rogers. This is Dan's. This is Kurt's. This is the emergency guest coat. Uh, here's some gurneys and drape pile of clothes. Now I'm going to oh show you guys the uh, this is the blue can. The blue can's got umbrellas in it. That's pretty exciting. Let's keep going, shall we? Let's see here. We've got uh, the editing room here. This is a little office and computer down there and you hang out here and you can chop up your video. Got some PV monitors here. If you open that up, you can see that they are, the foam is rotting and it does have the switch that uh, flat or smiley face EQ. Good old PV. There's a mannequin. This is a uh, kind of a one piece outfit sort of donated to uh to the studio here's my my indiana jones travel hat and this is where we keep assortment of video cable and whatnot batteries in the drawer it's also uh look at that that's where we keep smart media etc this is the copier and all the paper i'm in the process of sorting that I've been sorting that for weeks okay now we're going to go into the main area here this is, uh, this is the main space. There's the door. And you see the blue drape here. Back up a little bit. Uh, I never really tried the zoom on this thing. And there's a reason why. Hi, huh, a little table here with some snacks. Cool glasses. There's a monitor. They're here, giant, giant monitor hiding. And a series of gear stashed away some little monitors or the monitor all right now let's there's a couch over here 
Here's the control bank. Show you guys what happens. I walk out to the green screen area. Turn the lights on. Boom, and here we are. We're walking out here. Audio's probably getting weird. Looks all green. There's the uh, ceiling. And I'm gonna look out in the center of the stage at the door. Two banks, uh, four by four kinos up in the ceiling. Those are on uh, tracks, on rails. They can move around. Got some additional side fills here. This area is also available to draw a curtain across it if I want to. So that's curtained off. Now I've got the whole room. Whole room here is one big curtained area. All right, over here are racks of clothes. A bit of jazz in the background. We've got some band coats here. This is kind of cool. This is a Tupac reversible Machiavelli coat. A lot of hip hoppers come in and I don't even know it's here. We've got some Scuba Steve jackets, some like Kira leather jackets, a whole bunch of like Western wear, wine shirts, There's a bunch of pirate shirts, uh, mannequins with um, sunglasses and hats on for everyone. And then we've got sunglasses, an assortment of things from props, you know, fake money, popcorn bags, a little disco ball. There's like a giant lobster in there. Not real, of course. Thank the Lord. All right, some ladders. What do we got here? Oh, I got some sanitizer. We've got a uh, happy mannequin. Snare drum light. This is the ISO booth. It's currently jammed full of crap. Yeah, sounds much better in here. A little monitor back there and pop screen and mics go here and a little, little area for uh, putting scripts. These are little foam patties that uh, help with sound bounce, but also they are reflective so we can bounce light if we want to. Smells good in this room, by the way. All right, some acoustic panels just hanging out and grown. Some mic stands. Pretty exciting. We come out of there. This is the control room. And here we have the, uh, look at that. That is an old analog hunk of love. And we've got some monitors there. And of course, here is a reel-to-reel -reel machine. It's eight tracks, analog, Tascam, classic. And I've got tons of uh, bins of adapters and cables. Also got behind me here, I've got a rack of mic cables and quarter inch. There's an assortment of weird stuff down here. A little MIDI controller. Here's a mega megaphone here's a weirdo look at this what are you guys think of that that's a weirdo uh crayola keyboard i would use this if it had f keys it does not i do like the big buttons does work i do use the mouse that came with it okay now we're going to um, dim the music here we're going to go into the green room of the studio and here we have 1200 vinyl records Right, people, let me kill this fan. 1,200 vinyl records in this room. Up and down, alphabetized. The Rolling Stones have their own section. The Beatles have their own section over here. All right. That includes solo albums, such as this Ringo 
album, this Ringo album. Oh man, this Ringo album. John Lennon's Shaved Fish. You know, things that these guys are cool. What else we got here? We got uh, George Harrison and actual Beatle albums as well. Of course, you know, the classics. Peppers, Magical Mystery, that one. We also have a David Bowie section in the studio. We've got Black Star, the last one that he did. So there are modern records here. We've got some Bruno Mars. And look at this. This is a 12-inch uh, of just Uptown Funk. Who would have guessed that would be at the studio? We've got some Local Cats, Unknown Mortal Orchestra on vinyl here. I know there's some Sally Ford. Uh, Black Last Poets. Last Poets. More records over here on the wall. Trojan Dub box set. Six, I got volumes one and two, six LPs of dub music we gotta get through. All right, what is in here? Well, this is the dressing room for talent. Hey, right, look at that. Yeah, I'm on the gimbal stick today. We got that, and it's on both sides. There is a ironing board in here. And back behind here is, this is behind the psych. That's like behind the stage. It's kind of creepy back there on camera. It's not creepy in real life. Uh, supply closet full of uh, all sorts of things. Pine saw, all sorts of disinfectants, cleaners, a goo gone, which ruined one of my Kodak cars. Some extra China ball skins, C47s. Uh, middle room and then in here, We've got a plethora of stands, guitar stands, lighting stands, small ones, big ones, soft goods. In here, I've got buckets and buckets of soft goods. I've got soft goods, I've got rugs. There's a steamer up there. There's an entire thing of just blue items for the blue set. More on that later. Got uh, velvet ropes for stanchions. No stanchions, though, folks. No stanchions. All right, here's some other books in the green room, How Music Works by David Byrne. Uh, this is the hair and makeup station in the green room here. Wall to wall me. Here is the bike I take every day down to the studio. That's pretty exciting. And, uh, oh, look at this. Look who we got, the man himself. The great, great, great grandfather of it all, Robert Johnson. There he is playing his uh, loner guitar for the photos. He had a different guitar himself. And uh, that was a little tribute to him. As you can see, this is a real working salon with different hair dye and different actual real equipment. Uh, there is where I keep the UV wand for disinfecting things during COVID. And now we're gonna go to the bathroom. And let's see, we got some stuff on the walls. We got bootleg, bootleg bootleg that was a racing uh, detail company they painted boats mainly bootleg painting and some cool stuff on the walls that thing what else is in here the surfer guy and here we have the duke uh-huh and then look at this what are you guys making that just a lot of a lot of valets hanging out that and then of course a little Melissa Etheridge signed Marco love Melissa Etheridge and that's where we bus dirty dishes and art on the walls here we are back in uh, back in this room there must be more light oh. Except for light in here okay so that is the studio in a nutshell. For people wondering, I have some extra foam on the couch, wondering what it's like down here. And there's the outdoors. Howdy. Good people walking by, hitting the dispensary. Like those people. Let's go back through the editing room. 
network cable, chairs, um, mysterious door behind here. Duh. There's the paint closet. There's a bunch of all the stuff that needs to go back in the paint closet. We do a lot of painting here. It's a lot of painting. All right, we're back in the main room where I film. We're back to the psych. And if you guys don't mind, turn it back on me. Hello there. I don't know where the camera is I should be looking at. It looks weird. Anyways, that concludes today's tour of this joint. Hope you enjoyed it. Wish I had a full action figuratorium show for you today, but I do not. I will be back Friday, and it's going to be a good time. Me and Mr. Rich Bachelor are going to be in here. We're going to guffaw over this nun statue and um, do some video of it as we put it on the uh, spinner and rotate it. But I thought I, uh, since I did promise a show today, I thought I would just walk through the place and show everybody what this place is made of. And uh, I will then try to uh, sign off if I can and hope to see everybody back on uh, Friday. It's been fun and I look forward to seeing you then.